na mimi mwenyewe nilipotea kwa sababu ilikuwa out of peer pressure si ati ni chama nilitaka baba ni nani baba ni Raila Omolo Odinga na uhuru na uhuru mwegai Kenyatta Ngirita defected from UDA party and joined Jubilee party seeking to run for the women representative seat on a Jubilee ticket Mimi nataka kusaidia youths na wamama wenzangu kwa sababu mimi kwanza ni mama nina watoto wawili na tena youth mimi ni youth mimi najua zile mashida zenye youths wamekuwa kipitia kwa sababu hata mimi mwenyewe sijazaliwa kwa familia tiko wela ama nini tumetoka huko chini tukitafuta na nini kwa hivyo naelewa zile mashida youths wanapitia huku so so mi nataka kuungana na youths na wamama But after the brief welcoming ceremony, party branch officials say that no candidate will run for office without proper certification, claiming that this is the main challenge facing many parties in the country. Confusion, however, rented the air after the Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju claimed that all those who want to join the party are welcomed and denied reports that the party rejected Ngirita. We have sent her to the ESCC and other relevant authority to clear her, to get certificate of clearance from KRA from the DCI before she comes into our party because it is very important to know that uh, Jubilee is a very clean party and we don't want to to have aspirants who have not been cleared the Jubilee party is seemingly on a reboot ahead of the national delegate congress on the 25th and 26th of this month Nakuru County Governor Lee Kinyanju stated that the party will go back to its former glory devoid of the baggage of those who have since defected Jubilee and the restoration and all that. First, we wish them well. And uh, like uh, anybody else, I think uh, every party has its own agenda uh, and aspirations. And uh, uh, we, we all belong to the same consciousness, but as far as UPF is concerned, it was registered with a clear mandate. We have a socio-economic agenda we have a very clear mandate not just an election based kind of a party you know in politics you cannot have a one size fit all that what fits muranga can fit kisumu can fit nyanza so every place has its unique circumstances and i think nakuru is one of those places that is not just another county and we are very conscious uh, of that situation Governor Kenyanjui has also warned leaders who criticize President Uhuru Kenyatta against Jubilee Party leaders' move, demanding Angirita to submit clearance certificates from the relevant government agencies, claiming it will have serious repercussions as the country nears general elections. I also believe that uh, the issue of security, uh, national unity and cohesion must take precedence. Direct attacks on the president uh, can have negative consequences. And I say this noting that we have a whole six months to go. So if it's, it is this way, six months to time, then uh, we would not want to imagine how it will be by the time we get there. And therefore, government institutions, including national integration and cohesion, must take charge. And uh, persons found to be in violation, uh, action must be taken against them. Ngirita and her three relatives were arrested and charged in 2018 after they were linked to the 9 billion Kenya shillings scandal at NYS. She was charged with allegedly receiving 59 million Kenya shillings from NYS for no good supplies. The case is still pending. Arnold Msali, Ibru TV.